Okay, I'm up here at the cabin in Door County, Wisconsin, and there's a raging snowstorm going on. There's got to be some really cool stuff out there, so let's go outside and see what we can find. Check this out. It's snowing like crazy, and the winds are supposed to pick up to 30 miles an hour, so let's go take advantage of this while we can. <laughs> on the shore of our property. Look at that open water. I'm really attracted to this. Look at that open water and the atmospheric displacement in the background. Oh yeah. Sea level now. Let's go. I decided to put up the Bespirilla to help deflect some of the driving snow. Preloaded the pallet last night. Man, am I glad I did that. Definitely keeping the lid on the turp today. Playing around with some color mixtures here. You can see the ice and snow building up, and this is going to be a challenge. I'm sketching in the main lead in design element of this scene which is that open water and I can put that anywhere I want because no one knows where the water's going but in this panel I just kind of want to make sure it fits Mixing paint is becoming difficult at this point, but I'm just trying to gesture in the distant shoreline and how it's receding back and lightening up. It's getting cooler and the snow is diffusing it so it's almost unrecognizable in the distance. I'm racing against time to get some paint on the panel before the snow beats me to it. This is one of nature's ultimate quick paints. Like the setting sun, the impending darkness, or the oncoming storm. It's like trying to apply paint to a frozen windshield. The snow is building up faster than I can scrape it off, and this makes for color mixing near impossible. By adding some turp to my paint mixture, I realize that this helps to melt the ice and makes for a bold brush stroke. My half-frozen fingers help to smear the paint, crush the ice crystals, and help it to adhere to the panel. My spatula helps to indicate some fallen snow on some of the distant tree branches. The subtractions are coming out light and warm. Not what I really want, but I really don't think at this point I can get a brush to draw a fine line with the cool white snow. The snow is curling around the umbrella so rapidly at this point. I find myself having to scrape an area just in order to work on it. I can only do this because I haven't even been able to apply any thick paint to the panel. 
The snow has been acting like an icy barrier. I might have to admit the feet on this snowy and windy day. Come back tomorrow and see what this scene looks like. Well, I think this version of Plain Air Painter versus Nature 